everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm doing a Stock Swoosh Memorial Day event. I am doing a special for the Gap Options newsletter annual subscription. This is a Memorial Day offer. This is one of my most popular products, the Options newsletter. People love this newsletter. Again, this is a subscription service that does not have any prerequisites. So you don't have to have taken any classes prior to signing up for the newsletter, just so you know. And again, it's one of these things where you want to get started, you want to start doing this, you can jump on board and join. If you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So the Memorial Day special starts today. For the Options Newsletter, I'm running this through Tuesday, May 21st. So for a few days here. <clears throat> I'm running this so that you can join and get on the newsletter before Wednesday of this week. So Wednesday of this week is NVIDIA earnings and it's and we're going to have a lot of activity in the market Wednesday and Thursday due to that NVIDIA earnings. So there's going to be some great trades. And so one of the reasons I wanted to run this early is so that people can have an opportunity to join and get these calls this week. Again, if you sign up today, you will get Monday's trades. But the deadline for this special is Tuesday, May 21st, no exceptions. This is a huge, huge special. So if you sign up for the Gap Options Newsletter annual subscription, you will receive the Options Newsletter through December 31st, 2025. This is huge. So normally for 12 months, it's $69.99. This means you get all of the rest of 2024 and all of 2025 for one price, which is $69.99. So you're actually getting seven and a half months free uh, on top of the normal 12 months you would pay for. <laughs> this is a long time to get all my trades, and this is a lot of trades. The newsletters come to your email in live time. Usually most are sent in the pre-market. You cannot trade options in the pre-market. You do the trades after the open. But this is just a long time to be able to be in the newsletter, trade, and make money. It's a huge, huge offer when you think about it. I mean, December 2025 feels like so far away, but this is a great deal, and I know some of you are going to be looking to jump on board. So if you're looking for a strategy, a system, something you want to trade, you want to follow someone that knows what they're doing, you need a mentor. When you follow a seasoned trader, it's going to help you get out of the cycle of confusion. And again, I'm a seasoned trader. I've been doing this for 16 years. The benefit is that I'm writing the gaps in the morning and I'm making the picks and then I'm sending the newsletters out to you. So here's an example of what the newsletter looks like. Okay, this was Starbucks. We did the Starbucks. First of all, the symbols here, strike, expiration date, and the type. It's either a call or a put. So we're buying puts and selling them, buying calls and selling them. Strike was 75. The expiration date was May 10th. So I sent this out in the first, right before the open. Okay, so you have time to get organized here. And again, this was this day here. So when we did the 75s, stock close here, gap down, rallied, dropped. And then it went do, do, do. So you could have actually got out of this the first day, or you could have got out of it into the drop here. This never did anything wrong, actually. This was a nice trade. Uh, again, advanced trader risk, you could have bought one contract for 160 or 50, which cost 8,000 for $1.60, sold at three. Again, almost 100%, almost 100%. Nice trade, return investment was 88%. So if you had risked 8,000, you would have made 7,000. If you had done a smaller, amount eight contracts you could have risked 1280 sold for three profits 1120 you, again like i said you could have done one contract so the amount of contracts you take will depend on the size of your cash in your account again going back to the daily this is the gap so i got up in the morning i rated it i said starbucks is a good one again to follow through in the direction of the gap meaning we want to short it a put is a short Again, we do do calls as well, but this was a put, okay? So there's a lot of people out there, and this week was, you, you saw that with all the news, with all of the, you know, the Reddit stocks that were trending. People are always looking for ideas, but they really 
are looking for ideas in places that they shouldn't be looking for ideas from strangers who don't have a set strategy, that are not seasoned traders, that are not experienced and not successful. I've been doing this a long time. I've actually been teaching people now a long time too. It's really hard to believe. Um, so I'm very, very, very experienced. Now my strategy and focus is gaps. So everything I do is based on the gap. Again, the newsletter does puts and calls and we do a mix of those. So it depends what we get. It's a very active letter. There's a lot of trades. I say to people when they start out to pace yourself, determine how many trades you wanna be in at once and how many trades you wanna do a week. So if you're gonna do five trades a week, and for example, it's Monday, if I call five trades on Monday, I wouldn't do all five trades Monday. Because what if I call a trade on Tuesday and Monday's trades are still in, you wanna be able to do Tuesday. So I would pace yourself if you're new. If you do all the trades, you do all of them. And again, you have to set your risk accordingly. So I'm here, if people have questions, you can always call me, email me, but it is about working smarter, not harder. And I think a lot of people, when they start out, are all over the place with their trading, they need a focus, and this newsletter helps you to get a focus. I've had a majority of the people that have started out with me, trading on the Gap Options newsletter, decide then to take the Golden Gap course after the trading options and making money with me. So this is a way for you to start out. And again, this is a huge time on the newsletter. You know, long, long time. And one of the things that I talk about, and again, this is a picture of a bear and, and Starbucks was a short, but I, I talk about the fact that you have to trade with conviction. Whether you go short, whether you go long, you have to have a conviction in what you want to do. I said today, for example, I didn't think the market would really go anywhere. Market wasn't a long today, market wasn't a short. You got to have conviction if you take the trade. I had conviction in Starbucks, for example, okay? If you don't think the trade's gonna work, why are you gonna do it? You can't have a 50-50 crap shoot kind of mentality and attitude. Disney was one, I don't have this trade in here, but we did put some Disney. I had 100% conviction in this, 1000% conviction in this. In fact, I said to them, from no chance of failure at Disney, we did it. This again, stock close here, gap down, open, dropped. And again, this was a gap, we did puts in this. We did different dates puts. So I kind of spread it out. You had to wait for the ones this week to go. And then they did, poof, and they went. Again, conviction allows you to hold a trade that you believe is gonna work if it's down. That's why you can't risk more than you can afford to lose. Conviction also allows you to hold trade to a larger target. And again, one of the nice things about options, if you've never traded options before, is that you have a fixed risk. If you risk $500 at Disney and the trade loses, goes bust, you don't make anything at all on it, and the last day it expires worthless, that's all you can lose is $500. So your risk is really your stop. Now, I do have people with me that will kill the trades. I don't do that. I say cut your risk back so you can let trades play out. Because Disney, at one point, the ones for this Friday expiration were down before they went. But then they went. So again, I wish everything went to the piggy target the day that we do it. Sometimes things wiggle and jiggle, and that's trading. That's the market. Again, this is why have, trading with a seasoned trader like me, experience, all of these things really helps you. Because again, I said, I love this, and it's going to go, and I was right. So that was a good one. But again, everything I do is based on the gap. So what is a gap? A gap is the difference between the close and the open. Simple, but not all gaps are playable, and certainly not all gaps are what I call golden gaps. Stocks gap most every single day, but not every gap is a good gap, or what I call a golden gap. I'm looking for the gaps that are predictable in the direction. How do I do that? I use my gap rating system. If this is something you want to learn, you would sign up for my golden gap course. As I was saying to you, many people start to trade options with me, make money in the newsletter, and then use those profits to pay for the golden gap course, and then they get in the room. So again, let's just review here what a gap is. Stock close here, gap down. Stock close up here at four o'clock Eastern time, which is when the US stock market closes. Open in the morning the next day at 9.30 at a different price, this was a lower price. So in this case here, this was a gap down. And again, we shorted it and did a put. So when I use that rating system, that allows me to say this is gonna go based on the points not gambling. So it's I'm putting the odds in my favor when I do the rating system. Does it mean that every trade that I rate and take works? No, some lose. But over the course of a year, more win. And that's why I follow the system. And that's also why I let trades play out. Again, no one likes to lose in a trade. But if I lose in a trade, 
you know, I usually end up winning then in the next one or whatever the case may be. So it's sort of like you have to say, I'm going with it, I'm going with the rating, I'm setting my risk and I'm letting it play out. Again, some people kill trades at 50% down, but if you had done that with Disney, if you had killed that trade with Disney, you, you would have taken a loss in a trade that went on to work, which, which would have been a shame, you know, that was a good gap. So I allow the rating system to help me make the picks, and that's what I lean into then to let the, all the trades play out. And again, this, this is something where we're always trying to find the momentum. I'm not trading for 5, 10, 15 cents. I, if I'm risking a dollar, I wanna make 50 cents. If I'm risking a dollar, I'm trying to make a dollar, okay? I'm not risking a dollar to make 10 cents. In fact, I, I've lost in trades that I've been up more than that, uh, trying to let them go longer to get at least 50 to 100% more. But you really only need one good pick a day or a couple good picks a week to be profitable. Today we did Walmart. Walmart happened to be in bullish gap. So of course we did calls. So I called the 64 calls today in Walmart. They worked, they were good. You could have get out today, you could still be in it. Stock close here, gapped up, rallied. We also did a day trade in this. Do I do the same thing in the room that I do in the options newsletter? No, but some things I do, some things I do. And this was one of those things. So again, one thing today that was a good pick and that's really all you need in any given day, to be honest with you. So if you're someone that's been looking to trade, options is a good way to chunk it out during the week. I'm Like I said, I may call five trades on Monday, none on Tuesday. I may call two on Wednesday, three on Thursday. I never know how many good gaps I'm gonna get. It's a pretty active letter. letter. So when you decide that you wanna do this, if this is what you wanna do, you have to set a money management plan you have to have open an options account, which you can open up at any retail broker with $2,000 minimum. You can trade options with a cash account, which you can set up at a retail broker. It does not have to be set up as a margin account. You can if you want to, but you're not trading options on margin. You're paying the cost. But again, you have to set it up as a type, as a cash account, if you want to get away from the margin requirements. And again, these are all questions you must ask your broker when you set it up. You have to have a day chart to look at it. Even if you don't do the class, you wanna see what's going on, look at the daily. And then again, you have to learn how to buy the put and sell it and buy the call and sell it too. Many people wanna trade that are doing other things that they're full-time working and they can't be in the room during the day. So that's why I think it's very beneficial if you're, if you're busy um, and you want to make money on the side, you can do this by actually being active uh, with the options newsletter and not necessarily being in the room every day because the room opens at 9 a.m. and we trade in the morning. you got to be there between 9.30 and 10 Eastern time. And if you're working or doing something else, you can't. If you want to make money on the side, you can do options. You could be anywhere in the world. You get the newsletters to your email. You have your own account. You take the trains. You get out of them. You could set a limit order. If it fits, hits that order and fills you before 4 o'clock, you're out. And again, I put the targets in the newsletter. If it doesn't fill you, then you will be in the trade overnight. And that's fine too. Again, I do hold trades overnight. Disney was a good example of that. But if you're someone that's been trading alone for a while and you don't have anyone to follow that's a seasoned trader like me, you're, you could really get lost, particularly in this year where the market's been very volatile. It looks like it's going up, then it falls. It looks like it's going down, then it flips, then it makes new highs. Don't try to the market by trading alone. Very, very important to focus on what you're doing and have your goal in mind. Why are you doing this? You have to be patient with yourself, kind of like this baby in the pool. You may make mistakes. You may go through a learning curve. It may be a process for you, but if you really want to do it, if you're really motivated, if you really want to make extra money in the market, you can learn a lot from me. Just even being on the newsletter, seeing how I'm calling the trades, and then of course getting the opportunity to take the trades and get the calls. And again, this is a great special because you get so much time of the letter for one price. So it is about working for yourself, which equals freedom. Everybody wants more freedom. Everybody wants more financial independence. Everyone wants to be in a world where we don't have to worry about what we spend on things, the inflation, interest rates, or any of that stuff. It's completely out of your control, but what is not out of your control is the choices that you make when you sign up for subscriptions, classes, and decide to take trades. Far too many people take trades where they don't know what they're doing and follow people and they have absolutely no idea who this person even is. You saw that this week where people are trading and taking trade calls for people behind a blank screen. 
I've been doing this a long time. I'm telling you, my method is based on gaps. We're doing puts and calls in the letter. We're trading momentum. We're taking in the direction of the gap, whatever we do. And again, it's based on the rating system in my Golden Gap course, which is a class that you yourself can sign up and take. If you don't want to take the class, some people don't want to take the class, you can sign up and just get the trades and get the subscription service. Some people don't want to learn. This is a way for you to start trading. And again, because there's no prerequisites, many people take advantage of this. But the process that I go through when I'm making the picks is the rating system. So I follow the process myself. I get up early in the morning and I rate all the gaps. I rated Starbucks. I rated Walmart. I said these are good. Again, one was a short, one was a long. But I must tell you that learning does help you. It helps your conviction. Talking to me can help your conviction too. Whether it's on the phone or email, people ask me questions and often it helps them make up their mind about something too, you know, where I explain something or break it down for them, particularly in reference to institutional money, which we're seeing in the stocks that we're trading. And we're trading stocks that you know of, companies you've heard of, no low float stocks, no cheap things. These are all stocks that you're going to get filled that have volume, okay? And I'd say the most expensive thing we do is NVIDIA. Everything else is probably on a lower end to mid-range price point. So if you're interested in the class, the class is called the Golden Gap Course, which is June 8th and 9th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Class tuition is $69.99. Class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. The Golden Gap Course combo, however, includes the Trends class. You get a discount if you sign up for the Golden Gap Course and the Trends class, which is a combo together. You save $500. The Golden Gap Course combo class tuition is $79.99. The class is online. And again, you could be anywhere in the world and take it. So this is something you can sign up for if you want to learn the method or if you just want to sign up for the Memorial Day special for the option, start trading right now, Monday morning. Again, this is absolutely huge. Gives you all of 2024, all of 2025, or the rest of 2024, I should say. Um, and you will be able to start trading then on Monday if you sign up by Sunday. So you'll receive all of the newsletter trades for 2024 and 2025 for $69.99. If you're interested, email me here at melissathestockswoosh.com. The deadline for this special, though, is May 21st. And again, you will be able to get the trades then that we're doing on Wednesday and Thursday this week because I believe there's going to be some very active things to do that could be very, very interesting, specifically in reference to options. Have a great day, everyone.